beautiful day here in Uganda. So, you're in Uganda, Kampala, and you're on a budget, but you still have a few things to do. On a normal day like today, I'm gonna show you um, how you can be on a budget and do whatever you wanna do. So first things first, your boy is dressed up, black and white, as the truck comes. All right. Some people are busy out here building new houses or apartments, or whatever they look like. Anyway, so first things first. Your boy is dressed up, as you can see. Dry fit, truck suit. We're heading to the gym. But you wake up before you go to the gym, you need some energy. So if you didn't have breakfast from home and you're a fan of street food, you can, you know, come to one of these shops here or by the main road get some food they've got some bananas here some samosas let me ask them what they've got as you can see hello how you doing um how much is your food how much um those are samosas right yeah these ones are how please 500 each 500 each yeah mm -hmm. what time do you start in the morning by eight we have started oh, okay by eight yeah and eggs, how much? 500 each. 500 each. Mm -hmm. Everything's 500, yeah? Except the chapatis, they are for 1k each, and then the beef samosas are for 1k each. Oh, okay. So from 8 o'clock you start, yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Alright, so from 8 o'clock, the lady is open. You can buy some breakfast, chapatis, samosas, and they've got some bananas too. So, if you don't have breakfast from home, you can always buy some street food for breakfast. Remember, this video is all about living on a budget here in Kampala, Uganda. So I'm on my way to go to the gym. I'm gonna, obviously now we need transportation. The gym is about 10 minutes away. I wanna go grab a border. I'll continue the video. I'll continue the vid in a bit on a beautiful sunny day here in Uganda. And your boy chose to wear black to go to the gym. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so as we're approaching the main road, I'm gonna grab a border. It's as easy as just standing by the you know by the roadside. When border borders come past, one of them will just like signal you if you're going. And um yeah, so let's see. That's where we're going. So you just stand or just walk along the road. Any free border border that's working, it will just like give you like a nod that like you go in or be like that. And then you're like, yep, let's go. Let me see. So there's a few coming down here. Let me see if one of them is gonna be like, yo, are you going? All right. It normally takes a few seconds. If we're good, there you go. Yeah, there he is, see? There we go. Easy as that, so what's up, bro? I'm going to Tosha, yeah. Okay guys, so uh, YouTube I'm vlogging. So <laughs> yeah, it's as quick it's as quick as that. So go on our way. travel like a long distance and my guy is here. Uh, let's give you some Thank you. It's cool. So we didn't really travel like a long distance. It wasn't even like five minutes. The ride wasn't even for five minutes. So in theory, for you guys who always love to negotiate, which I do recommend, you could for that for this distance to travel, you could have paid easily 1k, 1000 shillings, but with me, I always trying to tip these guys, give them a little bit extra, so I gave him 2k. But in theory, you could have paid 1,000 1, shillings. So we're here at the gym. I filmed here before, you guys know this place already. I filmed inside already before. And because they play music, so I'm not really gonna film inside. So we're here at the gym. I wanna get the work in, and then I'm gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna show you more things you can do if you're living on a budget. But as you saw, when I was on the Boda Boda, the disadvantages of using uh, but the borders here in Kampala is it's not like Randa 
all different places where they give you helmets so if you can carry your own helmet or if you can buy your own helmet if you're gonna be using border borders a lot get your own helmet man for safety reasons but yeah they don't give you no helmet so we're here at the gym Fitolix hub Fitolix hub less gym <laughs> and the good thing about these people is um when you come you can leave your shoes out here they'll be safe and all of that stuff and then you can get changed and go work out and there's also a bench out here um you can come outside and chill yeah if you're tired okay let's go get this working all right and oh yeah you're probably wondering how much the gym is here for a session you pay 10k 10,000 shillings that's the gym session and i think they've got like a they've got a steam room or sauna inside um i don't remember because i don't really use i just use the gym yeah so um if you want to know what they've got here go to my old video that i made here um and watch that anyway let me go in and work out Ten thousand shillings and also they offer like um classes as well there you go anyway let's go I'm busting a sweat as you can see your boy is a bit sweaty but it was worth it so now you finish gym you're probably hungry because you need to replace that energy that you just lost in the gym we're on the main road as you can see here this is the road here it's Nigeria too as you're going to Kira and this side behind me is you're coming from Ntinda side so anyway we're done with the gym so you're probably hungry right so there's loads of markets here you can buy some groceries and then go home and cook. Oh, there's restaurants as well. So, it's a weekend, right? Today's a Friday, so if you're not gonna go out on Pazi because you're on a budget, so what you can do, if you if you wanna watch some movies or series, right? You can either go to the cinema if you want to, if you're not on a budget, or there's a system here they use. Uh, this guy is backing out. All right, go through, go through. Anyway. Here, there's a system here they use, right? They call them library, movie libraries. So what you can do, yeah? If you have a USB, you can go to one of these places, right? And you tell them to put some movies on the USB for you. Either movies or series. These people drive crazy. This one as well. So anyway, so these places called movie libraries, right? So if you're on a budget and you can't afford to go cinemas or if you're staying in and you wanna chill by yourself or with a partner or whatever, you wanna watch a movie. Okay, she's saying hello. Yeah, so you can go to these places, movie libraries, and they can put US, uh, they can put movies or series on your USB. So that's where I'm going right now. But I can't show you, I can't show you the place because I can't show you the place because most of these places are uh, illegal quote unquote illegal because <laughs> it's kind of like bootlegging right they're bootlegging movies new movie, movies that come out they bootleg them and they make some money so i'm not gonna get this young lady in trouble to show you guys a shot because she told me one time that um sometimes authorities run into their shops and confiscate their stuff so yeah but we're on a budget so yeah we're gonna book we're gonna go get some movies put them on a usb and then head home so i'll continue the video in a minute because i'm nearly there in this building so i don't want to bear up the building but boom we're on the main road here as you can see all right in a bit let me go get some movies and then i'll continue the vid in a minute we're back on the road boys and girls so we got the movies funny enough imagine right to get series on a usb stick right a full series right it only costs 2k 2000 shillings here yeah so it's bare cheap, isn't it? Like, so if you don't have Netflix, if you travel to Kampala, right, or Uganda, and you don't bring your laptop or whatever, or if you don't have Netflix, yeah, bootleg. <laughs> Go to these movie library places with your USB, if you have a TV that takes USB, or if you have, if you have a laptop and you don't have, you know, uh, Netflix, yeah, 
get a USB with enough space, put some movies on there and some series. Bootleg. And I'm good, bro. So anyway, a series and a movie is like 2K each, so it's very cheap. So we're on the main road here, so junction, we're going that way though. Thank you, thank you. It's rare for people in Uganda to let you cross the road, you know. Maybe he saw me filming, he doesn't want to run me over on camera. <laughs> so anyway, we're going that way. So, now we've been to the gym, we've got the movies for tonight. What we need right now, we need some fruits, right? Because we've been to the gym, we've got the guns going. We're going to go to the market, get some bananas, and then go to a supermarket as well. So, yeah, moving on the budget. Oh, actually, if you don't use border borders, you can use one of these taxis here. Excuse me. You can use one of them taxis there when you're going. But the only disadvantage is about those taxis, they stop everywhere, innit? So when people wave them down, they'll stop. So anyway, but the borders are quicker. But right now, I'm not too far from my home. As you can see, somebody's selling fruits here on the road. I'm walking because I'm only going up there. So let's continue walking. All right, so yeah, moving on a budget here in Kampala. So we're gonna go to the market, buy some fruits, and then keep it moving. I'll continue the video in a minute. Okay. So guys, I just made a little stop here. Um, like I said, I'm coming from the gym, so I made a little stop here. I'm gonna buy a top, a new t-shirt, because one of my, two of my t-shirts are getting a little bit old, so I'm gonna buy a t-shirt here. I just stopped off here. There's a shop here, ES Gymwear. They sell gymwear for like ladies and stuff, cross bags. Dope. So there's a girl here who sells them and there's t-shirts here. I stopped off and I'm gonna buy this t-shirt. Let me see the t-shirt please. Nice t-shirt. So how much is it? 25. 25k, yeah? Yeah. So what's your name though? I'm Daphne. Daphne? Yeah. Okay, so tell the people about your business here. What do you sell? Uh gym wire. Okay. Um uh, regging Z. Okay. Gloves, bags, muscle tights, jackets. Yeah, the jacks are here. Alright. Then the leggings for ready, see. Okay. Then here the muscle tights. Okay. Yeah. The cool. shirts here. More t-shirts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go guys. Her name is Duffin and she's literally here on the main road as you come from the gym where I came from. And you're going to Nigeria, Nigeria too. Her shop is right here. Uh, let me show you the shop again it's right there and this the number right here and numbers right there so if you're in a jar or you know get some gym wear and you're in kampala yeah hit her up man i'm gonna buy a t-shirt support the people support the local people so your boy's still sweating because it's hot so i'm gonna get this t-shirt she said it's uh how much did you say 25k or 20k 25. okay so people we got the package we got the t-shirt the gym t-shirt and we're going to the market so, you guys know, yeah, this is what always happens. Your boy, when I'm outside and I walk past shops and stuff like that, I always see something that I like. But these days, your boy trying to keep it down. I only buy what I need, innit? So I need a new gym t-shirt. And I saw a nice gym t-shirt. And I'm supporting the local peoples, man. Why not? So anyway, we got the package. We're going to the market, get the bananas, and then we'll get home uh, in a bit. Hello. She's like, why are you recording me? <laughs> But this is the road we're walking on. The border borders are zooming down as you can see. Boom, no helmets. <laughs> but that's where I'm going, right up that little hill. All right, continue the video in a minute. Boom. We're near the market. Hardworking people, this guy here. Look at the skills. Carrying things on his head. Hello, my friend. Hello, how are you? You good? What are you selling? Bed sheets? Bed sheets, yeah? Okay. Okay. Take care, my friend, yeah? Yeah. Hardworking people. But here, we're near the market. This joint right here, gotta skip over this. Boom. All right, so. There's a nice little bar here. They just opened it. All right. This place here, they're setting up like it's Friday. I think there's gonna be like a show here. Maybe I'll check it out. It's right next to my house, so. Maybe I'll check it out one of these days. And then, after there, there's a place here where the roast is a pork joint for you guys who eat pork. Your boy doesn't get down like that, so they call it a pork joint. I'll show you. 
Migos. Hello. So you support the Migos, yeah? <laughs> it's called Migos Pork Joint. <laughs> Shout out to Migos. Um, I rest in peace to that boy, Offset, from the Migos. Rest in peace, Offset. But yeah, it's called the Migos Pork Joint. And over here, people are doing welding, hard work, hard working people out there. Wow, there's a saw here. Stinks. A man over here selling whatever he's selling. What's up, bro? What are you selling? Hey. What's this? Steelwork. Oh, steelwork. Oh, those to wash dishes, yeah? yeah? For dishes, yeah? yeah dishes. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah, it sells um, those things you use to wash dishes. Anyway, we're here at the market, so let me get some bananas and we'll keep it moving. Where well, your boy always shops. But let me talk to some of these people. Hello. What's this? Hi, can I get some small bananas, please? You don't have? Uh, you only have the big ones? Yeah. I want small ones, but she only got big ones. Are those bananas? Okay. How much are they? Seven. Seven. That's too much for me. I don't want too much. I just want like a few. Yeah. Too much. Yeah, give me those ones. Okay, guys. So you can come here and buy some fruits. As uh, you can see, these ladies are all working. I filmed here before. There's my talk here. There's all sorts of avocados. And over there, they sell chicken as well. So you can buy a chicken over here. And your boy over there will slaughter them for you, clean them for you. And then, boom, you just take them home and cook. And over there in the corner, there's a meat shop. There's butchers over there, you can buy raw meat or red meat or whatever. So let me pay here the bananas and then keep moving. How much? Alright guys, 4,000 for all these bananas. So let me continue the video in a minute. Alright, so we're done, we got the bananas. As you can see, I'm walking on the side of the road and I'm coming from the gym. So the adrenaline is still pumping. As you can see, I'm sweating in it. So, but it is what it is, we're walking and we're going this way. We're going that way to the supermarket to buy a few more things before we go home so we're still showing you guys how you can move on a budget here so like i said earlier use border borders for transport go to the gym cheap gym by the way it's 10k per session and then obviously get some movies on a usb <laughs> if you can't afford you know going to the cinemas or if you don't have netflix and then buy some fruits from the market and yeah we're gonna go to the supermarket. This is where we're going. We're gonna go to the supermarket, buy a few more little things, and then later on, I might show you what to do if you don't wanna go out. But your boy is dripping, sweating, and that, yeah? We're out here. Let me continue the video in a minute. I'm on the side of the road. Alright, so, made a pit stop here at the supermarket. Just checking out few groceries and then we're gonna keep moving I'll talk to you more when I check out when I get outside if I make my way home there's a supermarket here I was looking for body spray I was looking for right guard that's what I use when I'm in London but they don't have it but they got a few so I went for this one here hopefully it'll be nice yeah in a bit okay so we've got the packages now we're heading home so reason why you know how i always tell you guys uh when you're shopping uh when you travel and go places or when you're coming as you can see your boy is sweating here yeah? it is what it is i'm coming from the gym but i was i always tell you like when you're on a budget you can always mix it up right when the side of the road a lot of noise but it is what it is hello <laughs> when they see your boy recording yeah yeah as you can see as sweat drips down my face but coming from the gym, it is what it is. But, guys, I always tell you guys, yeah, when you're shopping, right, if you can help it, shop in supermarkets. Reason being, ah, let me wipe my face. Reason being, when you're shopping in supermarkets, you know exactly what you're paying for. You know the prices of the, you know, the things you're buying. But, when you go to markets, you know, if they see, if you don't know the prices of the groceries you're buying, they can quote you a different price they can overcharge you when you go to different places that markets right where there's no prices on whatever you're buying but hello that's my friend over there hello 
she's looking at me like oh maybe that's somebody else anyway so guys when you go to supermarkets look where we're walking through this way we're walking through gotta keep balance boom so when you go to supermarkets at least what you're buying is labeled with prices yeah so you know exactly what you're paying for but markets different markets like um the market where i just bought the bananas oh i buy things there often so i kind of have an idea of how much things should be costing anyway and sometimes i you know i let the ladies keep the change and stuff like that so it's up to you um when you're moving on a budget where you want to buy where you want to shop markets yeah you can get things cheaper than supermarkets but you if you know the prices then go to the markets but if you don't know the prices go to the supermarkets and also reasons why i go to supermarkets if you buy something and it's damaged they give obviously you get a receipt some markets don't give you a receipt so in a supermarket maybe you can return it and exchange it i've never done it before here in uganda i've never exchanged anything but i don't know what the return policies are here but with the supermarket you can be safe that's what i believe anyway and um certain things i, I don't buy certain things in markets like water i'll go supermarkets because i only drink bottled water your boy is bougie so yeah <laughs> so when i want to buy renzori water as the truck goes past there he is what's up yeah some guys they're excited when they see camera but it is what it is so yeah uh, when it comes to water i only go to the supermarkets to buy boxes of water to drink because like i said your boy is a little bit bougie i only drink bottled water so but i wouldn't buy bottled water from any corner shop around here i go to big supermarkets so anyway we've got the packages so i wanted to show you guys what you can do on a budget here in Kampala or anywhere you go so we're on our way back home hello hi <laughs> yeah so we're here this area here is developing really fast I don't know what this is gonna be uh, Dazzle bridal point okay bridal point are they gonna be selling bride dresses and stuff like that I don't know they're not open yet but yeah and over here We've got a medical center as well and over here there's a resort um yes yeah, so that country resort so yeah we've got everything we need here in this area here so anyway i might end it here or i might continue the video later on who knows if i show you what i'll be doing later on we'll see to be continued okay so like i was telling you guys earlier um we're still on this budgeting um video still so in the evening if you don't want to go out on a weekend you can set up your own thing at home um if you smoke a little bit of sheesh like me you got a little pot you can set up a little pot there buy you know some liquor from the supermarket there get some liquor and then get some flavors some shisha flavors there and speakers set up play some music chill at home and yeah save some peas if that's your thing unless you want to go out loads of bars here in Kampala I'll just you guys know I've already made nightlife videos here in Kampala so yeah save some money like that the whole day I showed you how you can <clears throat> be on a budget and still have a good time full day here in Uganda catch you on the next one time London